Hey, good morning guys, it's Patrick here at PCTV. We're walking the show here at Seal Beach. It is absolutely packed to the walls. Got a long day ahead here. Try to get as much in as I can for you, but you can see it's gonna be really, really tricky to shoot. So let's just keep on walking. Try to get close to the cars here. Seven. Very sweet. Look down the crowd here. My friends, the guards just won best Woody at the show, and I was there with the judge talking to him. And I think I might have uh, did a little bit of judging influencing, but yeah, I, he's like, no, no, I'm giving him the trophy now. So yeah, let's keep walking. I'm gonna make my way down to the pier next. More Seal Beach here. Wow, look at this news. Diamond tuck with buttons, what year? 31. Look at this interior, <laughs> this is insanity. Custom match collars, small block Chevy on it. Very cool. Look at this deluxe right next to it, fleet line I mean. Excuse me. Nice fleet line. And right next to it, can't quite see what year it is. I think it's a 63, or is it a 64? Let's take a look here. Well, of course it's a 64. There you go, gotta have a 64 to show. Here we go, we got a stock roof Merc here on bags, lowered out, pretty dope. And next we got a fully chopped Merc. Again, also very dope. Very sweet. I love how they group the, the Mercury's, they group the... Hey! Hey! Hey, what's up? How are you? How's it going? Good. The car club's in the house. Mike and Sheila Balmer's here in their 37 humpback Chevy. Love this thing. Mike's had this for years. He keeps it beautiful. I mean, he's well into his 80s. Big block in this sucker. This 37 is bad to the bone. And it's, you know, a good 15 year restore and I think it's really held up well. I think the way that he broke up his paint by using the paint licks and, you know, the only thing is, uh, well, no, there's not an only thing. Everything's great. He's got a good pull through on the front, great decker. Everything's done really well on this. Nice French antenna. Overall, just a beautiful car. Take a look at that. Wow. Look at this. I think this is Lyle Sharpton. Is this Lyle Sharpton? It is. This is Lyle Sharpton's car right here. This is his 32 Deuce built by the Chavix. Uh, this is a Hemi powered with uh, six, I believe, Stromberg copies and built at the shop by uh, Chavix Hot Rod. And yes, sir, Lyle Sharpton right there. One of the best roadsters I've seen built and just a beautiful job. Oh, no way. And he has his dad's, he has the steering wheel, and the car is dedicated to his father. So Lyle did a great job on this, and I'm glad to see it out here. And Today. It's unbelievable. Look at this LS2. I bet your heads are exploding. Nice Willwood brake setup. This is going to get you anywhere you want to go. You can drive this thing across the country. But that distinctive two grill. Absolutely beautiful. People are unaware of where they're walking. I made my way all the way over the grass and DWS is in force here. We got Trisha here with her 
2020 Silverado. She's all the way off in the corner. A lot of people looking at it. Look at the Vickies. Got a 3100 right here. We got a Studebaker. Don't know if it's a Silverhawk. It's a badass. We got a double nickel Bel Air. Oh, it's Bel Airized. It's a 210 with Bel Air um, trim. Very cool. Got a lot here to see today, man. Here's the Marauder. And this is one we see in all the inland shows. And it's, and it's out here at Seal Beach. Wow. Hey guys. Hi, I follow Hi. you on, on, the, on Facebook. Well, I sure appreciate it. I've, I have shot your car at more shows, Temecula, Murrieta, and now you're here at Seal Beach. I'm like, wait a second, I always see you guys in IE. Yeah. So this is awesome. So give us a give us a hello. Names, please. Uh, Mickey and Mike. Mike. And Ron. And, Ron. and Ron. What's yeah, up, Ron? Out. You're on PCTV, and thank you so PCTV. much. Thank you got you. the best going on. This oh, is I, one of my favorites. Yes. Love it. Good to see you. All right, guys. That's cool. Love it. This Marauder's badass. And that's so cool they follow me. That's, that's awesome. So I got to get new stickers made. I'm completely out. Let's take a look at the Studebaker. Oh, man, the Studebaker's badass. A ton of folks here. You just kind of have to walk around and shoot around folks because they're just having to join the show like everybody else. So I'm just doing the best I can. But look at this LS setup in the studio. Look at the, man, look at the number plate on this thing. Man, that's just so crude. 53 Studebaker Coupe. Champion radiator in it. I'm going to go with LS3. Could be wrong. Right next to it. Nice 3100 really gorgeous it is a 58 man all metal gray interior Tommy cover <clears throat> wheels are yeah could be better look at that Chavik special right over here there we go but yeah it's a crowded show man I gotta just get around as best I can here there we go Chavik special right here hand built by Stanley Chavik real special car What's up? Yeah. Just an absolute amazing. He completely hand formed this car himself. And there he is. Speaking of the man, I just saw I'm your calling, lovely I'm wife. You, but you don't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to steal a cigar from you. <laughs> you only have one though, right? I know that's what's always it. That's always probably you only just have one, right? There we go. Hanging out with Stanley Chavik here with the Chavik Special. And we just had a nice uh, conversation. I always enjoy hanging and seeing him and Daisy. We've been friends for a long time. He's from Prague, as my uh, former fiance uh, was from there as well. And look at these guys here. What's up, gentlemen? How you doing? Enjoying today, weather is great. Sounds cool. You brought some badass freaking, what is the custom tutor over here at 57? They're both 300s. Okay. I don't know these cars as well. I'm not, I'm not. I'll go with that. Yep, let's look at the stance here. Oh yeah, Pro Street. Beautiful stance. Man, oh dude, your headers. Good on nostalgic fender wall headers. So down with it. It's just one of a kind. This is really great. So I'm gonna guess you're Rick. Yes. Because I figured the car the card would probably tell me the truth, you know. So good to meet you, Rick. And you are Bob, nice to meet you. You're on PCTV, and I appreciate you guys. And so, yeah, I do a YouTube channel for all the different shows and stuff. And uh, for our friend Dana that passed away, it's a memorial channel I do for Dana. And so, yeah, and so these are the kinds of cars that just, like, holy crap, man. You guys have got some nice stuff. So I'm going to walk around your cars, enjoy the day. I saw your chariots, guys. Yeah, we got all DWS. We got Stanley. There's just a ton of people here today. So enjoy the day, you guys. And again, what a beautiful beautiful pro street my god and these are 300s which again i'm not super familiar with but look at rick's car man this is gorgeous full pro street strip ready look at that we got a fair lane right next to it a 56 beautiful classic fair lane four door this would have been your family you know kia just something else there look at this nice Get another shot over here on the other side of Rick's uh, Pro Street here. Look at that. Wow. Just gorgeous. Uh, they're with the chariots, by the way. Take a look inside here. Resto Mod. One cup holder. What? I guess he rides solo a lot. So, Paxton, blower. 
centrifugal. 351. Really sweet setup under here. He's got a beautiful build board. It's a 57. Really great. Five miles a gallon. He gets 12 on the highway though. So what? Got 17 out of it now. That makes all the difference. My my truck gets almost 17 now too because I've, I've got the I've got a four speed in it. Uh, TR4. Wow, beautiful. This belongs to Robert Lee. And there you go. I can't even remember the transmission right now. My memory is just faded. You know what my last name is? No. Comfort. <laughs> okay. It is. <laughs> yes, sir. What's up, bro? Comfort vision, you know it. So these are great. And yes, you did Oh man, what a day. I've had so many great people walking up to me and giving me love. Is that Chris? Oh. It's Ricky. See, I'm so bad with names. Anyway, this is a Polaro. Pretty sweet, too. Look at it. Dude, I love the spikes on the plate. A little punk rock. Nice scratch. He's got a lace job on the roof here. Look at that. Band starting back up. Look at this interior. All original trim. Good luck finding trim for this sucker. This is next to impossible to find. It is a 67. Get another angle at it. This is the big, big Mopar iron here. And I don't know if Darren ever saw this, but I think he would have maybe taken He was uh, judging Mopar. So over here, check our crew. We got a nice 65 Mustang. Hey, everybody's here. Look at all you guys. 72. Bulls for 42. Oh, Cutlass. Soft flat wheels. There's Mike's 58. I will see you at Garden Grove. How we doing? Good. I'm a sucker for suckers. Help yourself, please. <laughs> go for it. Yeah. yeah, you know, you got to have one guy has got your damn live stick around there. That's good. Enjoying yeah. the day. You got to keep one guy sober. You got it. You got it. I, I have a, I have a Daniel live sticker on everything I own. Look at this. Great 58. Mike's at uh, Garden Grove quite a bit and hangs out. And he always has candy up. He's got his uh, Craig SS's. Great car overall. So let's take a look around here. Let's go visit DWS. Let's start over here. This GMC, I believe, is a DWS truck. Full patina, and it sure is. DWS is in force here. This is one of their more recent builds. Big mob steel wheels on it. Love the cutouts, door repairs, and all the patina. Nice wood job. He's even got a tail on this thing, man. Got himself a kick tail on it. And he's got himself a phase step bumper. Wow, they left the original bumper with the trailer light. <laughs> it's got the trailer light socket and it's set up. Yeah, it's set up to tow. Look at that. Chains are in place. Torco sponsored. I used to use Torco too in all my motorcycles. But yeah, this thing's got the full blown. Some people don't like the, the clear patina, the clear patina, the clear over the patina, the high gloss. I'm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Boy, but nice leather interior. And then let's look under the hood, but these wheels are insane. Love them. These are the ones that Darren had in the shop. He was trying to sell me and they went onto this truck. Big block under the hood. 396, probably out of a Chevelle. Air conditioning, full custom frame, everything done right on this thing. So let's walk over to the other side here. Just saw Clifford, Genesis, and the kids. Look at this here. Nice Ford here. What year is this one? 60? 66. Yeah, F100, very sweet. What's under the hood? Yeah. Devil Rock setup. Searching for his house keys. 351 maybe? No, Could be. Oh, here's, oh, here's Mike's javelin. Beautiful javelin right here. And owned by my friend Michael. Oh, look at this, he's represented. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. I'm gonna have to give him a new sticker. Those stickers were not UV protected and they're fading on me. But yeah, he has a 70 AMX. This one is a Mike. And this is a five speed Tremec setup. He's got the side pipes on it. And just a really cool guy. But this AMX is badass. I've watched him build it. And just really a nice, nice car. Straight out of DWS. And right next to it is Darren's panel. Uh, we built, I built my 70 just about the time he was building this one. Still has it, driving it, enjoying it. 
This one, I believe, is out of Pennsylvania. We got our whole crew. So I can hear my club over here, too. So I'm going to walk around and head over and visit my club. I shot a video for this one for TikTok last year. And it went over really big. Again, he's running those big Detroit Steels. Here we go. Nice motor setup. Small block. Super clean. AC. Champion radiator. Looking good. This is his dad's truck right here. Also, he's got a thing for the big Steelies. It's got clear sheen over it. It's for sale. Step side. Great truck. Beautiful interior in it as well. Seats are nice. Interior is really great. Air conditioning, just cool overall. Music starting, so it's gonna get a little loud. But there you go. Very sweet. And Gino's truck's here. The Jegs truck. This was a cover truck for Jegs catalog a couple years ago. What's going on? Hey man. Oh my god, Art, what are you doing, buddy? Look at this. Marshall, what do you think? You came for Seal Beach and look what you got here. Yeah. Wow. This kid, you never knew. Oh, look at that. He's got his goggles on. So, yeah, I'm just shooting my show right now. It's great to see you. So I'm going to shut the camera off. All right. Got to talk to Art. Enjoyed him. You take care, buddy. Look at this. This is Gino's truck. Man, Dipple Dog. And look at this. we got our buddy right here. My buddy Art's here. And Gino's in the house. He's trophied. This is the Jags cover truck um, from two years ago. He's got Hillborn injection. This is all built at DWS. And this is Gino's truck, and it's just amazing. The paint, everything done on it. He trophy. Got to keep the leaves out of the back here. Now this is detail work right here. Look at that flip it. Way down on the roof. I thought it was David for a second. Hey, look at that beautiful truck of yours, man. Yeah. Love this thing. So what year was it the cover truck for uh, Jax? Was it 2019? God, it was that long ago. I guess. No, I said about three years. Is, God. Wow. And it still looks amazing. Just crazy. And you take it out. Yeah. Good. Love it, man. Original bumper on. Get one more look here at Gino's badass truck and the man himself. There's Gino. DWS is in the house. So look at this RS Camaro here. 69. Oh man, he's got poverty caps on it, stripes. This is all, all DWS, right? Yeah. Yeah. All. These are all shop cars or project cars out of the out of the shop. Check out this Camaro, man. It is really sick. Small block 350. Really clean car. Again, beautiful. Color matched bumper. Looks like it's in French. And that RS headlight trick is just so bitchy. Beautiful. Take a look at this 3100 right now. Amazing, looking like a 58 or 59. Again, built by DWS. It's top notch stuff here, man. Overall, just gorgeous. This is some of the stuff they turn out at DWS. He's running Budniks on it. No mirrors, if you notice that. There's no mirrors on the truck. Some of these guys are starting to put in cameras and actually doing electronic rearview mirrors. They'll hide them where you can't even see them, and then they actually have an electronic rearview mirror. I think that's the coolest thing. One of the coolest things going right now. The interior, again, classic Budnick wheel. I think he trophy here last year. We didn't already trophy. Let's see what he got a trophy here for. First place, Grand National Roaster Show. Wow, that's cool. This is an award winner right here. And when GNRS first place in trucks, it's pretty amazing. There's a lot of competition out there. Hey, I just ran into Dave. Oh, you got your little, uh... I hey. fixed my stick. There's Dave in the sword. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Yeah. Look at this. We got the Phoenix here. Yeah, yeah. fist bumping. Wow, we got the Phoenix nice. here. This is Mike Cullen's car. It now belongs to Marilyn. He rolled it to her after his passing. And she got the best spot in the house, man. This is an amazing car. This was his mother's car. I showed it last week at uh, Surf City Classics. Just totally badass. There we go. Woo! Man, I love this car. I think I forgot my power cord, though. Oh, man, I think, yeah, I forgot my power cord, so I don't have any extra battery. So this is going to get interesting. Look at this. We got another winner in the house. Guys, I went to slow-mo mode. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. We got Chuck. Look at it. Hey, David, what's up? 
How's it going? And we got Mike's beautiful Nova right here. Yeah, I went into slow motion mode, so I have to reshoot all this. <laughs> but Mike is a winner. And look at this. Man, it's gorgeous. That looks like Scooter over there. Yep, Scooter and Louis. Luis, what's up? And then we got three Seal Beach Trophy winners in a row right here. Don, what's up, man? What's up, guys? There we go, level one. Fargo seats. We got Paul Gonzalez. Hey, Paul. What's up, buddy? What are you doing, Loretta? Hello. Congrats. Hey. Uh, Dunia, and of course, Inga. Where's the Inga bug? <laughs> Looking great. Congratulations. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, we move on. Got to get out of here. Got to go get my boy. Well, I'm down to 10% battery, so here we go. Austin Healy, Bug Eye Sprite. Either a 59 or a 60, I'm not 100% sure. Looking good, looking like a Healy right next to it. What's up, guys? Yeah. How you doing? Great, enjoying the day. Yep, we got a 3000 Mark III right here. Original black plate car. We got Dave hanging with me. This is a sweetheart. It's a 67, wow, I didn't realize they went that late. Really cool. And let's spin over here. Here's a beautiful red one. We have an entire row of Healy's right here. This is just amazing. Just, I mean, look at that. Just crazy. Really cool. I always love these cars. And, uh, you know, this one here, this one here looks like it's track ready right here, man. It's a 100S. This is a little earlier. And very original. Got some dog hair on there. Looking good. This is a fun one. It looks like a, it looks more like a rally car. Oh, uh, Euro look with a lay down. I didn't know you could do a lay down on these. I, I wonder if that's that's not factory. It must, might have been optional. Well, no, look, they got lay downs on two of these. Huh? They got lay downs on two of these. This is cool. They have the lay downs like this. Yeah, these are the older ones. Oh man, I didn't know this even this even was like this. This is so cool. The windshield flips right up, and it lays. You can see that you can see the the rubber line right there where the where it sits. The dad's is like this one. Amazing. Yeah, look at this one here. Oh, I love the louvers on this one. So here you go, guys. You're getting your British Invasion here. So a whole section of Heelys. Another 3,000. We got a Mark II over here. So we've had Mark Threes. We've had a Mark Three. We've got a Mark II. Uh, a couple 100s. Okay, here's a slab cider here. Nice Lincoln. Later one. Maybe a 65. Tell me on that front, guys. I'm always not good on these. Pardon me. And here we go. Nice 57 right here. All right, let's look across the street. I believe this is a 62. Let's see. 62 or 63? 62. 62, because that's the, right away the, the vents tell me it's a 62. Also the grill. Yeah, see, this had the little had a little rectangle yeah, wash. Sixty-one had more of a downturn. Oh, okay, cool. Look at this Triumph here, man. TR3. Oh man, yeah. Man, nice TR3 right here. I know my British cars a little bit. It's a '59. Oh, and it's an A. Sweet. Very nice. It's an A too. Here we go. He's got another. Mark II. Oh, really? But it was, it was like the 100, though. Beautiful. Oh, we got four shots. This oh, this looks like my oh, Julia. Wow. This is how my Julietta looked like. I had a 60 Alpha Julietta. This is why. This is how it looked like when I first. Yeah, but it drove. That's why I was driving it like that. Great restoration. Oh, sorry. This wasn't made before, huh? Look at this monster. I want to say it was Fiat, but I could be wrong. Monster Bodek 481. Motor. 1.17 liter. I don't think so. Not that. Oh wow! Again, the Heelys, the Heelys, the Heelys. Let's roll the Heelys. Just buckets of Heelys today. I can't. I've never seen so many Austin Heelys in one place. Oh man! And this one is the way to finish right here. Look at this on this. Great 
guess. Uh, and he opened the hood just in time for the video. I love it. Be on the channel here on PCTV. Look what he's done here. He's got a nice British theme going. Love his seats. Oh yeah, he's got a security safe in the back. That's probably where you got to keep your Glock. Not you got to keep your Glock in that, right? All right, guys, this is the party that is Seal Beach. I'm getting to the point where I'm about to lose my battery. I got him an hour to go get my son, so we're gonna try to grab what we can. There's a lot of people here. I think I need some coffee. Oh man, a little uh, Conline P100. 73 Conline. Love these trucks. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought they were cool. Got a 67 Camaro right here. Oh, he's got his two more on it. Oh, look at this, man. A 3.0 CSL. Nice 23 window. And he's got his jail bars. Uh -huh. Yeah. My buddy Brian's got a got a similar band to this. Very cool. And he's got the same wheels as my uh, bug. He's got original Fuchs. Because that's what I have on my bug are original Fuchs. Yep. It reminds me actually of my bug. No, you're right. Well, is this a 23? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a 23. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a 23. It's beautiful, though. Check checking out this 23 window, man. This thing's beautiful. He likes it. He wants to take it home. Yeah. He wants to do He wants to take it home and make love with it. Does this thing work? Oh, God, yes. Insane. Interior's a little dated. Like the T-Bird here. Oh, it's also a trophy winner. Not so good on my years here. 62? Really? Oh, this is a 62, yes. Oh, this is definitely a 63. No, it's a 62. Yeah, because look at the taillights. Now, that tells you right off the 62. The, the little verticals. And, the, yep, and, the, and you got the little wing right here. That right away. You make some sort of a Right, and then the 63 goes to, and then the 60 has the vertical tail light, and the 62 has the horizontal tail light, and then we go to the small vertical, and then the 64 we lose the, and then the 63 we lose the, we lose the, the, the wing too, right? And also the, uh, also you start to lose the uh, tail fin. Yeah. It didn't have the four, had the four headlight thing. Oh, wow. See how this is so wide there for yeah. the uh, things? That is uh, the 61 that's only that big. It goes like that. Wow. That's yeah. car. You clean Great it car. Great car. Thank you. 429? Great car. Check it out. All right, guys. Beautiful 62. Two. And I've gotten much better in my Cadillac here, so there you go. Another gorgeous TV shot here of this Cadillac at Seal Beach, Malibu. Okay, I'm gonna go with a 65, 396, and it's a 65. So let's take a look here. Oh, he's got yellow lines on it. I don't know if those are, uh, uh, I can't think of the name of them. Bogue or what they are. Very cool. Coffee of the day at Bogart's is Honduras, and I'm half Honduran, so what am I going to have? I'm having Honduran coffee. Here you go, Mom, in your memory. It doesn't have a full wrap on it. It's half. Usually, yeah, the, usually the back band, the tailbait, yeah, it goes over the top with the lights. Well, that's a 65. But see, they're normally wrapped all the way around with that. That trim usually goes all the way around and across the trunk. I've never seen one like yeah. this. Yeah. 396 Malibu SS. I don't know if that's an SS option or what, or it's custom. I'm not 100% sure. Cutlass. Cutlass is really nice. It's really hard to do with a band here. I got to kind of yell. Live music though is going. Nice vibe, Linda. Loving this. Look at the bug screen on this. This thing's cool. 37 Chevy Coupe. Beautiful. Weather out here is getting nice. Nice panel bus, patina, bay window. And we're going to head down Main Street. I'm yelling, oh wait, I gotta get Doug's truck. <laughs> Continuing on through here at Seal Beach. Yeah, there we go. There's Bob, a winner. That's crazy. Okay, here's Doug's truck. And this is GMC uh, 59, I believe. Doug's in the house. Right next to it, he brought his badass Trans Am. Mark drove this out today. Uh, my buddy Art, he's here from uh, New Mexico, and he drove uh, Doug's original Trans Am. Doug has one of the largest uh, Firebird Trans Am collections 
privately that I've ever seen. I think he has like seven of these, and he's collected these his entire life. And this car here, he built completely from scratch, and he's done all of his cars from scratch as well. All right, it's too loud here for us. We're gonna have to go down. Uh, we got a 62 Grand Prix right here that's badass. Look at this setup here. And I'm having to run because my battery's about to go under. I think it's a Catalina, I'm not sure. A lot to tell from here. It's a Ventura, oh my God, it's a Ventura. That's beautiful. Look at that. Look at this Pontiac row here. So we're just gonna run the row. Sweet. Oh no, 421, Tempest. Oh, Le Mans. Now we had this car in a convertible, my dad and I, when we were, I was a little kid. Nice goat here. I always like these. But these goats are my favorites. GTO, GTO, Firebird, GTO. What a row, 68. 65, GTO, so we're walking them fast. We're just gonna knock them out. And this is the amazing show that is Seal Beach. Incredible Pontiac Row. The crowd here is huge, so I'm working my way through, seeing all kinds of folks. Seeing a lot of friends here today, man. Just a ton of people here today. But yeah, it's packed. It's freaking crazy. Nice goat. I lost David. Got a TA here. Is it a four four hundred? Look at that. Got the window sticker, everything in here. Got the chicken on the hood. Another nice. Look at this, 454 HO, big old fire chicken. Another nice GTO. A fire chicken. I think this is this is Joe. This looks like Joe's. Yeah, this is 64. My dad had this brand new, but he bought it. Uh, he bought it a uh, hard top. Yeah. And uh, oh yeah, it's a dude from uh, Garden Grove. And there we go. This is the Pontiac Row. Yeah, all the way down the line, man. Guys, look where we are. Tri-5 crew in the house on PCTV. Look at this, man. You want to see some Tri-5s? Holy moly. 56, 57, 55, all right next to each other. 56 right here in front of me. This is the entire club out here. And it's pretty crazy to see all of the Tri-5 club taking up this entire area in the grass here. Let's take a look at some of this stuff here. So we're just gonna take a quick walk around. I'm almost out of battery. Got a 57 Bel Air here, original interior style, beautiful paint job outside, looking great. Next to it, we got a double nickel that was owned by, looks like Dad, who's a former uh, police officer, four-door family car.